All right, so the next step of the project is gonna look, a lot of it's gonna look very similar. There's gonna be some key parts that it's, you can copy and paste from the reader right into the writer script and be done with it. So let's take a look at how you're gonna accomplish writing to the CSV file. Well, the first part, we've got to import the CSV module, right? That's a given. So let's import that CSV. The next step, just like before, we've got to open the file to be able to get access to the content. Now, we're not going to be reading the content this time, but we're going to be writing to the file itself. Now, this is an important one. If the Excel file is open on your computer right now, you want to close it. Get it out of there, close it down, because the script, our little Python application here, is going to get access to it. And if it's open, that can cause problems for us. So make sure that the Excel file is not open at this moment. So I've now imported the CSV. Great, it's in there. Next thing is I want to be able to open that file. So just like before, I'll create a variable called file, and I'm going to open it up. It's called example.csv. All right, now the next thing I want to do is earlier we used the R character here to denote that we want to open this up inside of read mode. Well, this time, I want to be able to open this up and it's an existing document and I want to append a record to the existing CSV file. I don't want to wipe out what's there. I don't want to replace everything. I want to take a record that I'm about to create here and I want to append it to this document. So in this case, we're going to use the letter A for append. So I'm going to say, nope, open CSV, oops, CSV and in append mode. That sounds good. All right, now something I'm going to do actually right before this, we've got the import of the CSV, we're now opening the file, um, but I'm going to create a new record that we will append to the CSV file. And I'm going to make this a, a list. That's simple. So we need an ID. I'll say 1005. We need a first name. We'll make this. Uh, who, who should we do? Oh, let's do Patrick. Uh, we need a last name. We'll do Marlowe. And we need a department, I think was the last one inside of that CSV file. Just want to make sure that I'm matching the column headers, right, that that list is expecting. So it was ID, first name, last name, and department. So that's going to act as the new record that we want to append to the CSV file. So I'm just going to say uh, new record. There we go. All right. So still, not a whole lot going on here because, once again, the CSV module is going to do most of the work for us. We're opening the file. Now we want to be able to start writing to this file. So let's bring in a comment here. Uh, write to the CSV file. All right. So now I'm going to create a new variable. I'm going to call it WRT. I'm going to make it short for writer. And this is going to be equal to the CSV writer function. And well, oops. CSV writer function. And I want to be able to write to the file that I've opened up. So I'm going to pass it that file variable that we created earlier. Remember, file is equal to the new document that we're opening up in append mode. So we'll use the CSV module, get access to the writer function within there, and we're going to write to the file that we opened up. And that's all being stored inside this variable called w, uh, WRT. Now, what do you think? We part of the way there. What do we need to do next? Well, I've got the new record. I've opened up the document. And now I'm going to start writing to that file. Well, what? What are we going to start writing to that file? So I'm going to say wtr.writeRow. And I want to be able to write the new record. Let me put a comment above that. Write the new record into the 
CSV file. And then I should do one last thing here. I should take the uh, file and I should close it. Let's get rid of it. And I'll put a comment above that as well. Close the CSV file. All right, what do you think? Again, what is it? One, it's got the import. One, two, three, four, five, six little lines of code. And like I mentioned earlier, there's many different ways that you can accomplish this. This is just one of them. Uh, you may have come up with other methods. You may have searched online and found other methods there. Um, there are a few techniques that we're going to talk about later on as we get more advanced into our topics. But for right now, this is simple variable uh, declarations and, and assignments, all utilizing the CSV module and taking advantage of a few of the functions in there. Writer, write row, and then working with the file itself. So let's save this. I'll call this uh, CSV writer. Great. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and run this. Now I'm, I'm not outputting anything out to here, so I really, maybe I could put print in there and said finish writing or whatever, but I'm gonna go ahead and F5. Oh, did I misspell that one that I did? So RT, there we go. Make sure your variable is matching, right? Your spelling, spelling always counts. So case sensitive as well. Save that, F5. All right, so it did restart. I can at least tell that it ran and it was successful at whatever it did. But now I can open up the Excel document. Let me find that here on my computer. Uh, example. Here it is. And there's 1005, Patrick Marlowe in the IT department. Just like that. We have the ability to be able to not only read the CSV, but be able to write to that CSV document as well. Taking advantage of the CSV module, a part of Python. So if you didn't nail that one down just quite right, take a look at this, go through the steps. If you did it a different way, great. Again, share it with us. Jump into the Q&A section of the course and let us know how it went for you. Screen captures, code snippets, whatever. Share what you've done.